Brushing your teeth is important, kids.
about your friends. So if you have a friend in your life, I just want you to give them a big old hug. If you're watching this with someone, that's your friend now. If you're on a subway and someone is watching alongside you, but you don't know them, give them a hug. Make a new friend. Make some friends today.
Welcome to the Pop Off Podcast. I'm Derek. And I'm Matt, and we're here with Hate, Hate, it. Hate it. I'm Jordy the Forge. I'm AJ the drummer. I'm Joe Biden. I cannot die. <laughs> I'm Boomer. I play guitar. Hate it is the name of the band. And when I first heard that, I figured that you were talking about something that you hate. You would be correct. There is something we hate. And, oh. and I want to be, uh, and I've gotten past that. <laughs> um, okay. I'm over that. No, what That's actually, good to know. Cars and slow cars this is, this is, this is, we, we want to be clear about something. This is a very serious band. And we, I agree, strongly, the it. It can be a lot of things. It can mean a lot of things to you. You know, that's the important thing about music is that it appeals to everyone, blah, 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 kumbaya, nonsense. But what we really hate in this band is illiteracy. And did you know, this is a true fact, Sweden spent $3 million to study this. 75%, stop laughing, this is a serious statistic, Big Pop Art. We can, we can find bar graphs. This is so, this is real. This is real. Google it, but only use the AI function. 75% of fans of extreme music, metal, punk, hardcore, deathcore, slam, 75% read at a third grade level. We hate illiteracy. This band believes strongly in ending illiteracy in the extreme music community. Thank you. Hey, you know, it's good to have your cause and something that you guys stand for. Uh, hate it. Appreciate the fact that you guys made the trip in from Deland, coming from the East Coast. Uh, I figured you were getting a lot of hate it towards I four on the <laughs> way over here. <laughs> Do you think that yeah, about four you know, or five in that community a that it's a goblin <laughs> influence? I know that there's a lot of like um, trolls and type of like mystical. We asked you not to speak about this. We said that <laughs> we specifically. He's going to show up now. Yeah, but see, you so know what? I don't agree with that. I think you should be able to talk about whatever you want to talk about. Okay, okay. it's your soul. You I was going to say, it's on you. You summoned him. You want to take this one? You want to take this one, Omer? I mean, I don't dare speak his name, but there, I'm, there I'm already is. on my second fish. We got <laughs> problems here. Yeah, uh, I, I had half of a fish once, and I don't know if it counts, but I'm probably toast, man. You're in for a half. You're in for a hole. <laughs> He don't, says that. He's troll. very straight. We're talking about Danu the Fish, but everybody knows, okay? It's like, you it's like we're hiding. Name. It's like we're <laughs> hiding like a goblin. We're talking about Danu the Fish Goblin. He comes to you when you want fish. If you eat three fish from him, he takes your soul and turns you into a fish. And he's very straightforward about this. He's a pretty good guy. Like, you know, like, I don't think he's a good guy. It sounds like something that P. Diddy was doing. Some type of like... <laughs> no, it, was, it, it was a freak like, party like a situation, party. No, but no, with fish. No, no, it's consensual. Like He comes to you and he's like, mm, three fish... Three fish from me, your soul is for me, is whatever he said. I don't remember what the rhyme was, but clearly, <laughs> I thought clearly you guys, do not. I thought you guys rocked hard, though. Did you not get a good deal? Because it seemed to be, you know, the I, fish I, I, I is love the very high energy. Good. The do fish you get to pick good. the fish, or is it three random he, fish? He just, he just pulls it out of a bag. It's like an amuse bouche. Okay. That's just one bite. I, mean, that's, I can't eat a fish in one and you bite. Take one of those it's a small fish. It's a big amuse bouche. <laughs> Big amuse. <laughs> we take, yeah, we 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 def this is a we we are uh, sponsored by uh, uh, Dan Teagle's uh, fish oil. Um, if you're looking for the best fish oil supplements on the market, um, please stop making me talk. I'm not gonna say anything serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this poor guy, man. He Sp walked up. Spam L in the chat, boys. I, I'm gonna start speaking in like old school Xbox terms. Y'all don't y'all don't want me on the mic. <laughs> Scoobity Riz. <laughs> no, he walked up like Willy Wonka, all you know, kind of. Laid back and chilling, yep. and then as soon as you got the microphone, I think you saw what unfolded. <laughs> and, and maybe you didn't, but because of how close it is, but I'm pretty sure you ripped some hair out. You had hair in your hands, and you were saying, like, I'm ripping my hair out. Yeah. He's yeah. And then followed right on through. It's okay. I have more. We're very big he's into a a visual interpretation of the lyrics. We actually have an unseen third member that dresses up in costume, but you really take it to the next level. It's just like, hey, if you're not hearing me, you're going to see me. So Yeah, um, well, I mean, again, you have to be visual because, again, heavy metal crowd, third grade reading level, so uh -huh. you got to you know, make sure. <laughs> We're all very visual performers. That, um, but, yeah, I mean, that song's about uh, anxiety uh, and, um, and references Hulk Hogan. Um, because why not? Brother. I, I imagine he's experiencing a lot of anxiety right now. I would think so. Probably. Almost certainly. Tape. <laughs> but, 
Uh, yeah, that song's about, uh, it's called Trichotillomania, brother. I know it was on the screen. I'm sorry. I'm re being repetitive, but it's fine. What about, what about, <laughs> all right, what about the rest of these guys? Come on. I know that the, uh, the bass player's cool, man. He likes to freaking drink beers and have a good time. Me and him were vibing before this. <laughs> I'm just a bass player, man. That, I mean, it, that's like the biggest stereotype is we're big old drunks. You were doing, but, you were what singing, no, there were three microphones say. on stage. Yeah, that's all you I don't sing. So I joined the band I don't after, sing at all. um... One of the members dropped. Uh, traditionally, I have a background with theater and uh, 80s style metal, hence the little vocal bit I did there. Uh, the drummer is, in fact, my brother-in-law. I was asked to sub in for a little bit, and I just ended up becoming a permanent part of Hate It. Nice. The Forge is a real sub for anyone. We really, we really vibe anyone with bands that have the, the brother, drummer, bass thing Step going brother, on. real brother, yeah, brother-in-law. Brother brother oh brother, no, brother. step brother, I'm trapped brother. in this dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so how, how long has the band been together? Uh, has it been a year yet? I think, maybe. I could check the what chats. Is, what is we, time? We kind of formed out of the... The dissolution the of three other bands. Yeah. That's a cool word. Dissolution <laughs> of another band, uh, Dem Yeti Boys. And uh, so me and AJ have been playing together for like, what, four years now? Uh, two or three. Something. Three. Something. Time's an illusion. None of this matters. But yeah. It's been Time like isn't real. Kill your local fishmonger. Because <laughs> he could be a goblin. I dig it. I, I love the uh, funky fresh vibes and the, it's like a retro. You got some... Some retro shit going on there. Definitely Florida. If you guys are from Florida, I think this is what you guys are looking at. We are from Florida. <laughs> yeah. I got oh. pineapples on my shorts. <laughs> gotta have them trunks on, man. Ready you're you're kind of losing go the swim. shorts. It's almost I'm going like swimming. you're sitting here with just yeah, a it, shirt it, on. For a second there, it legitimately looked like you did not have shorts on. Yeah, like you had lost the pants entirely. Oftentimes I do. It's hot. It's that, hot down that's, here. That's actually that, is, that is very typical that's actually a pretty good point. <laughs> well, all right, guys. I know you got some gigs coming up. Um, I love the music that you came and played for us. Definitely go out when you see these guys live. November it's, it's, it's 23rd, Deviant Livations. That was rude. That was really I know rude. It was. He was talking. I know. No, I, I, I went was. out in there. No, no, no. Don't let him get I just away wanted to it. make sure I could get it in well, there. Well, what about your social media? We have a website. It's you are gonna, G O N N A, hate it.com. You're gonna hate it. Uh, the OnlyFans link on there is not to any of us, so take that as you will. D do yeah, do with that information what you hair. want. He's selling strands of hair and beard clippings. We do sell pics of feet and beans. It says so on our website. It, it does say that. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the Instagram? Uh, the Instagram it's just is hate it band. Hate it. Hate, hate it band. Yeah, hate, hate it band. Hate it band. There's an underscore in there, but I think if you there, search hate there, it, you find yeah, it. You just just push it around. Yeah, it don't find it. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Right. Hate it, band. What? Hate it. We love it. No, oh, November 23rd at Deviant Libations. There's a secret ghost man who's telling us to say the show again. Thanks, secret ghost man. Yes. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Spooky. I think that was good. I think we got it. <laughs> Word. Spooky is the end. Now we're probably going to cut that whole, that whole end.